Hey guys! So this is the project that I've been working on for the past two episodes. And this is where it sits. Nice view of the sun going down over the top of it. Now, this area in itself isn't incredibly special, but if you look over here, you'll notice the village of my good friend Nostnitz. And this is a special area. So, I came over and built a neighboring house. Let's go ahead and... You notice I took out the land bridge, so let's just hop across. Whee! Ta-da! And that will be the only way of accessing this little island now. You have to enter pearl across. There's no portals. It's cut off from the outside world. We have a note here from Nostnitz. He said, I was searching all over for this and could not find it. Then I get ready to record, turn around, and there it is. Anyways, nice house. Nothing else. Why, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Now, he did give me an invitation to come over and build something. Um, I think he probably meant a little closer to the village, but, you know, this is a cool place. <laughs> um, I went around hunting for lily pads, and that turned out to be a rather extensive search, because there are no swamp biomes, at least very near in that direction. I had to go all the way through a jungle and a desert to get to one. Now there might be one that way, but I didn't check. Alright, well we'll go ahead and take these down. And I had another visitor while I was upstairs. Let's I believe it was... Yep, Celtic Knot. Hey there, you were AFK when I visited. Cool place so far. Why, thank you, Celtic. A little ender chest set up there we can store our valuables in. There we go. Jungle sapling and cocoa beans. <laughs> Alright. Um, if you noticed last time, I did have pumpkins here. And they were okay. But I didn't quite like the feel, so let me grab a couple of redstone torches. What I do is just break this out. Drop a torch. A lamp. And we'll do one more on this side. Just to make it nice and even, symmetrical and all that. Ta da! So you come inside. <laughs> I saw this this huge right outside. I'm like creeper right outside the window. Nope, no creeper. I believe the island is actually spawn proof. I should have it lit lit up enough to keep monsters from spawning up here. Yeah, I like that cool pattern. I kind of like this cool octagon shape that you get when you join the four of them together. So right here in the center. Yeah, I've been staring at textures a lot. <laughs> All right. Noted from the comments, I think last episode, Nostis was all worried about this tree because he was afraid I was going to cut it down. I would never do that, Nostis. This is this is the Nostis tree, planted in your honor. Yeah, that one's staying. That is definitely staying there. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to put on this island, and the more I think about it, the more I think that it's pretty well done. This was never really meant to be a huge project, just kind of a cool, fun little build we could put up here in the sky. So I think we're going to go ahead and move on down the road. Uh, Red Fro and Sophie had been exploring one day and they found a, what they said was a triple spider spawner and a zombie spawner. So I think I'm going to head over that direction, check that out, and see if, see if we can harness the power and make it into something useful. <laughs> like, you know, either a string trap, spider eye trap, or maybe a, a dungeon. You have to battle your way through the spiders to get to the end. You have little prizes or maybe just a, a leaderboard of bragging rights. <laughs> Alright, well, 
I'm going to go ahead and leave a couple ender pearls over here on the other side of this mountain so that you can... I have no idea where that pearl went. Whoa! Ocean! Bottom of the ocean. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and hop back up here to the top of this little mountain. Leave a couple ender pearls there so you can, or whoever wants to come along and visit it, is able to ender pearl across the gap. And I think someone came out here and visited me. I think Sophie and Redfro died. There's some stuff in this chest. Um, most of it's not mine. There's five ender pearls. Uh, seven ender pearls. If you come along and you have more, you know, feel free to leave a stock. Yeah. If you want to get over, the, want to get over there, you'll have to ender pearl. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and look up the coordinates for the spider spawners. And we'll head over that direction. Hey, Nostnitz, I left you a present. It's a cool village, left you some decorations. Binary guy. And if you want to see what I left him, I guess we'll just have to watch his video. <laughs> Oops. Alright, well, I checked the coordinates of the spawner, and they are... X, negative 100, Z, negative 4, thousand ish and right now I'm at X negative 900 and Z negative 1400 so it's about 3500 blocks that away all right I'm not gonna make you watch that whole trek so I will see you when we get closer all right guys so we've made the trek and we're approaching the village that Redfro said that we would be finding. Alrighty. Signs of life have been trekking across the frozen wasteland for thousands of blocks. Um, ah, Nusnit's far away home. Nice little house. Chess. Just snoop through your stuff, Nostance, you know, it's okay, right? Bedroom. Oh, nice. Little bridge going across this gap. Huh. Sign glitch. Alright, there we go. Red Froze, far away place. Come inside. Little stone entryway. Nice. Got a back porch. Covered back porch. It's a pretty cool view. I like that. Alright, well, let me go ahead and set my spawn in this village. Just in case something happens, you know, working with spiders. Really, what could go wrong? Okay, now let's go and find that spider spawner. Alright. From what I could tell, there should be a pillar set up that will actually take me down to the mine shaft. So let's see if we can find that. I think it was somewhere over here in this mountain area. Chickens everywhere. They blend in really well with the snow. It's hard to see them sometimes. Mushrooms. Oh, oh, I see something promising. Down we go. What is this? This tree drew four blocks tall. Interesting. Time we go. Wow. Okay, we'll take the nice, safe, easy way down. Down the ladder. <laughs> and down to the bottom. Okay. Hmm. One block of obsidian. Alright, so here's a spawner. This is a cave spider spawner. Oh, and here's the, the zombie dungeon. Anything in the chest? Hmm, not much. Leftover stuff. <laughs> Alright, so the zombie's here. And here's the other cave spider. Alright, cool. Hmm, I need to eat. Alright, so I'm 
not sure. Are these in range of each other? I stand here. Okay, this spawner just activated. You can see because it started doing the little flame animations. Hmm, and this one's not doing anything. Let me see. I'm standing on this block right here. No. This block. So I have to go to here. So they're about five blocks apart. Now the zombie will work either way, but the spider spawner you have to be a little closer to. Okay. Um they mentioned there being one more. Let me see if I can find that. Spawner. Where are you? Yeah, I read for said they spent several hours in here and oh I had not lit it all up yet. <laughs> Skeleton, you're not being very nice. I'm just trying to explore this area. This is pretty cool. Ha! Huh. Nice. The tracks are just stretched out across nothing. And he said the other spawner was about, what, 40 or 50 blocks away? Um, let's see if it's away from this one. Uh... Oh, wait. There it is. There it is. Yeah, it's a fair piece away. You'd be standing here in order to make it activate. <laughs> See, this one's probably not going to be very, very useful to us. Um. So with these other ones, the idea I was thinking of trying to make some sort of experience trap. They may be far enough apart that that's going to be a little difficult. Unless you know you have a couple people down here at any given time. Now you would have the benefit of being able to collect spiders and zombies. So that could be helpful. And you just won't be able to get the double benefit of having two cave spider spawners at the same time. Um but whatever, we can we can work around that. Um it will be handy for the idea of a dungeon that I've had. <laughs> kind of as a... Well, it all started um, several weeks ago, I guess, when we were discussing how just regular monster dungeons were pretty easy to conquer. You could get inside, light them up without much trouble. And we were discussing how it would be cool if there were harder dungeons that you actually had to fight through. So then, um, Sophie and Retro found this area, and we decided that we would set up a a harder dungeon. And with cave spiders and zombies, I think we can do a pretty good job of that here. So I'm going to spend a little time trying to come up with some sort of cool idea, maybe kind of a, a labyrinth maze type area. And I should be able to funnel in the cave spiders through several different areas. So that'll definitely make it a little more challenging. <laughs> so, for this project, we're going to do some mob processing, mob handling. Um, I'd like to have it be able to set up where you can farm them, have them go to a collection point, or also insert them into the labyrinth for a little extra fun there. So I have to have a control room set up for that. Yeah. So this is the basic area. I'll go ahead and kind of set up a base of operations somewhere. I'll figure out what the entrance is going to be, where all that control stuff is going to have to happen. Right now we are at level Y26. So I'm not sure if I want to build the dungeon above this to avoid the void or the bedrock fog or if I want to utilize the bedrock fog and make it a little darker and creepier. Now I can always make it dark just by not putting a lot of light in there which will give us other mob spawns as well. Um, but it could be kind of cool with some fog going on too. Anyway, 
um, that's the plan. That's going to be the next few episodes is putting that dungeon together. I'll get a little more area area cleared out here so we have plenty of room to work with. Um, yeah, and I'll probably try to set up... I guess I'll set up the um, actual farming area first because we want to be able to make sure we get plenty of area for them to spawn in, get high efficiency, and then that'll give us some water streams to be able to carry them off with. And then once we get that set up, we'll look at actually making the dungeon and maybe putting some cool traps or a couple different ways to go through that. So yeah, I hope you're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a cool project. Never made anything like this before, so yeah. Well, thanks for watching and have a good one.